and welcome to one of the most football crazy cities anywhere in Europe. We are in Dortmund, famed of course for the famous Yellow Wall. I'm Derek Ray, here on the commentary position, joined by Lee Dixon to help me describe all the action. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. It is Borussia Dortmund taking on Sevilla. Well, the first group stage of the Champions League is always exciting. Three points is vital for both teams to get off to a good start. Or a draw may be a good result as well. We're about to find out what happens. Roman Burki gets the nod and goal. Rafael Guerrero starts with Thomas Meunier as fullbacks. Marco Royce plays alongside Mahmoud Dahoud in the centre of the pitch. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. side as follows getting the nod in goal is Tomas Watzlik Sergi Gomez plays with Diego Carlos in central defence and the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition it's the opening match day Champions League group stage match day one underway Reina Well, pressing high is something the visitors like to do. It can take a lot out of any team, but it is very much their game. Lee, would you expect that approach this time? Yeah, absolutely. The press looks on the way the team's set up. High energy is needed for this tactic. Everyone has to buy into it, but the rewards are big, Derek. And Bellingham. Fernando Holland Royce high quality defending in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here now delivering that deep cross no nonsense clearance can he put them in front Yes is the emphatic answer, and you have to say it was on the cards. Well, here's the replay, and it's a terrible effort at clearing your lines, giving the ball away. And from there, they never recover, and the coach will be tearing his hair out. Well, all the hard work has paid off, but the manager knows a lot more has to be done to secure this game. Well, back underway here, and a wake-up call for Borussia Dortmund, you would think. <laughs> Bellingham. It's with Guerrero. Marco Reis on to Holland. Decent position for Dortmund to be in. And players waiting in the centre. What a vital intervention. Really a very poor ball. 
shot attempted and that's easy peasy for the keeper Ivan Rakitic and De Jong on the ball well that's a super ball over the top oh just mistimed his run and the flag going up Guerreiro Minier Marco Reus showing ambition to shoot from there goalkeeper has it poor pass under no real pressure Reus Dahoud and on to Bellingham alert defending and this is Royce Severe as we can see have not seen too much of the ball but on the break they've been devastating the pace really hurts defences They've been electric when they've had the ball. Over the touchline for a throw-in. Dahoud. Marco Reus. Meunier. Options in the centre. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Strong play here. That's going to be all for the first half here in the Ruhr region. You've certainly got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Lee. Well, Derek, you're right. He has played well and goals win games. He's been a joy to watch in this form. Sit back and enjoy him in the second half. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Diego Carlos. Bellingham. It's with Dahoud. Still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. It comes to nothing in the end. An example of how to press. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? And the offence sufficiently sinister to warrant a yellow card. Yes, agree with that one, Derek. He's got to be careful now. Ivan Rakitic. Oh, showing excellent vision. Holland. And a crucial intervention inside the box. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. Ten 
tending to his defensive chores. Crossing possibilities. Dahoud. to Holland and that pass could be troublesome and just like that it's gone in Borussia Dortmund suddenly are level well looking at this again he's onside thanks to a lovely through ball but once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat he hammers it into the back of the net smashing goal Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up and now both will rely on their respective benches. So, a level contest. 1-1. Fernando. Jesus Navas now. Well, the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. And space to cross it. Just too close to the goalkeeper in the end, wasn't it? Yeah, poor technique, really, and the goalkeeper's not troubled. Well, Derek, just look at those stats. Not created enough chances. They really haven't. They need to up the tempo, put the pressure on. Then they should win this game. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Untidy in possession. Sousa with it. Dortmund with the ball once more. Now oh, that pass easy on the eye. No, not the best challenge. Will it be? Keeper did his job to begin with. Well, it came to nothing in the end. 15 minutes remaining. Jesus Navas. Lucas Ocampos. That's excellent defending following the cross. An effective challenge. Breaking at pace. Vital interception. The danger was very real. Jesus Navas. It's not lost on them what a goal could mean at this late stage. Couldn't grab hold of it. And problem solved for now. Well, he was super goalkeeping, wasn't he? I thought that was the game right there. Keeper, no, he had other thoughts. And this is Navas. Teammates in the middle. And he did what he had to do defensively. Marco Reis. A fine reading of the situation. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. But he keeps going. Teammate available. This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, it looks like the game is over, but no. There's another chance, and there it is, back of the net. It looks like the winner. Well, here's the replay. That pullback cross is so hard to defend against. And then through on goal, do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. And that brings the action to its conclusion. 
You've got to say, Lee, a horrible night at the office. That's the last thing you need. Start of the qualifying stages. You don't need a zero point, Sally. You almost need memory loss now to forget about that. Down to five games to qualify. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance this evening, Lee. Well, grabbing that late winner was the icing on the cake. What a good performance from him.